Are you looking for the best 3D printers? In your budget? Well, in today's video, we break down the top 5 best 3D printers. I made this list based on their price, quality, durability, and more. To find out more information about this product, you can check out the description below, and also make sure you subscribe for more reviews. Okay, so let's get started with the video. The fifth product on our list is the Mingda Magician X2 3D Printers. Hobbyists and novices need not spend a lot of money on a capable, feature-rich 3D printer. There's a lot out there that are affordable, including the Elegu Mars 2 Pro, but the Mingda Magician X2 is a cheap 3D printer that straddles that line between performance and affordability. We found during our tests that there are a lot of standout features here, particularly for beginners. For example, the 16-point auto-leveling, quick swap extruder, and filament detection and removable pay build platform will all help to make it easy for beginners to use. And we thought the touchscreen LCD was absolutely adept at displaying useful feedback like a hotbed temperature indicator, adjustments such as easy-to-understand baby step Z axis tuning, all of which enhance the printing experience. Overall, the printer itself delivers great performance as well, delivering excellent high-quality prints during testing. However, we did feel the print times were slow. While it can hit up to 100 mms, the recommended print speed is 60 mms. In comparison, the Speedy Bamboo Lab P1P can reach print speeds of up to 500 mms. Being on the affordable side, there are compromised here like the limited nozzle options and the fine tuning you do have to make for better print quality. However, you're getting a pretty fantastic deal for how much you're paying here. Up next in the fourth place is the Anacubic Cobra Plus 3D printer. The Anacubic Cobra Plus is the third printer in Anacubic's latest line of FDM printers. It's the Goldilocks machine, not as big as the Cobra Max, not as small as the Cobra. Priced at $499 with a build size of 300x300x350mm, it's going toe-to-toe -to -toe against Creality's popular CR10 line of machines for a good bit cheaper. The Cobra Plus is basically a scaled-down Cobra Max, with all the same features and a less overwhelming size. It's still not a portable machine, it can print a helmet in one piece, but you probably won't have to special order a table for it. It has a Bowden extruder with a volcano-style hotend and a carborundum glass bed with great adhesion. This machine is also equipped with Anacubic's Levick bed leveling system that physically taps the print surface for very accurate results. Best of all, the Cobra Plus ships mostly assembled for a quick and easy, headache-free setup. You can go from opening the box to printing your first model in about 30 minutes. The Cobra Plus is easily ranked amongst the best 3D printers right now. The Anacubic Cobra Plus comes with everything you need to get started. Tools to build and maintain the printer, side cutters, a plastic scraper, nozzle cleaner, grease, and a Microst card with a USB adapter. You also get a spare nozzle and small sample of PLA. The Cobra Plus ships mostly assembled. Putting it together only involves a few bolts and 20-30 minutes of your time. Four bolts hold the gantry in place, and a few more screws attach the touch screen. The spool holder snaps onto the lower rail. Remove the protective sticker off the glass plate and clip it to the aluminum bed plate with all six clips evenly spaced, three on the front and three on the back. It's very important to use all the clips, or you may not get an accurate reading from the auto level system. Snip off the zip ties that held the printer together for shipping and plug in the wiring. Everything is clearly labeled and easy to find. The final step is to secure the Bowden tube to the print head cable with the provided cable clips. The third product on our list is the Anacubic 3D Printer Cobra Neo 3D Printers. The Anacubic Cobra Neo is the best low-cost FDM 3D printer in the market today. It's an ideal 3D printer for budget-conscious beginners, or could be used as a reliable backup machine for long-time makers who needs more than one machine for their multiple projects. This printer is very similar to the company's flagship Cobra in design, and is also packed with great features that we really like such as automatic bed leveling, a direct drive extruder, and a heated double-sided pay-build platform. The Neo is very easy to use as it is shipped 90% assembled, so you can get your print projects started right away. It has a solid 220x220x250mm build volume and a pay flex plate that makes it easy to take your prints out without the need for scraping and damaging your plate in the process. 
In our testing, the Neo did an incredible job printing a very detailed Dragon Bust Fody's Mint's Red Dragon Bust, which came out with minimal stringing and showed off precise details of the model we chose. Unlike the Cobra, this machine does not have touch screen for your setting configurations. But we felt that the knob controlled 2 4 inch color screen worked just fine to navigate the menus. Currently retailing at $169, the Neo comes at an affordable price range and has everything a new maker needs to start their 3D printing journey. Second on our list is the Enicubic Cobra Go 3D printer. The Enicubic Cobra Go is very similar to the Neo in terms of its design. It has identical build volume, interface, and even hardware. However, what distinguishes the Go from the Neo is that it is shipped as a do-it-yourself kit instead of a ready-out-of-the-box package. The kit would require you to assemble the printer yourself. If you don't mind spending an extra 40 minutes on setup and are up to the challenge to building your own printer, then the Cobra Go is just the machine for you. Though seemingly light on premium features, the Go does include automatic bed leveling and pay flexible build plate, which are two of the most useful functionalities we look for in a 3D printer that makes it easy to use. In terms of output, the Cobra Go does well with detailed prints when you slow it down and use good filament. Check out our best filaments for 3D printing for suggestions. In our test, we printed Clockspring's Illusionist vase at a 16mm layer height with 65mm speed, which resulted in a perfectly smooth print. Additionally, the Anacubic Cobra Go supports more file formats and more filament types than the Neo, so the Go gives you more options to play with. Retailing at Taller 179, it offers so much value for your investment. Finally, the top product on our list is the Elegoo Neptune 4 Pro 3D printer. The Elegoo Neptune 4 Pro is making waves in the 3D printing community, and for good reason. This printer comes pre-installed with Clipper firmware, featuring a powerful ARM 64-bit quad-core processor. The result? Impressive print speeds of up to 500mms recommended at 250mms, maintaining accuracy and smoothness throughout your prints. What sets the Neptune 4 Pro apart is its intelligent segmented heatbed. This innovative feature recognizes the print size and adjusts the heating zones accordingly, saving energy and ensuring optimal adhesion. Plus, with 121 points of automatic bed leveling, achieving a level printing surface has never been easier. Now, let's talk about performance. The Neptune 4 Pro prioritizes speed and efficiency, reaching ultra-fast print speeds with its fan module operating at 10,000 RMN. While the small fan can be a bit noisy, you have the option to switch it off for a quieter print. The Dual Gear Direct Drive Extruder enhances performance, providing precise control and minimizing issues like jamming. The automatic bed leveling system with 121 points ensures consistent and reliable prints without the hassle of manual leveling. However, it's worth noting that during testing, there were minor issues with dimensional accuracy, especially for prints requiring precision. Adjusting the print speed proved effective in addressing this concern. In terms of software compatibility, the Neptune 4 Pro works seamlessly with most slicing software on PC. However, Mac users may encounter some additional steps, such as running terminal commands for optimal performance. Considering its price range, the Elegoo Neptune 4 Pro offers excellent value for money. It competes well with other printers in its class, making it a solid choice for beginners and appealing to more experienced users due to its versatility and low price. In conclusion, the Elegoo Neptune 4 Pro impresses with its performance, ease of use, and a range of features. If you're looking for an affordable yet powerful 3D printer, this could be the one for you. Don't forget to check out the excellent touchscreen interface, making adjustments a breeze during your prints. And there you have it, our overview of the Elegoo Neptune 4 Pro. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more content, and let us know in the comments if you've had any experience with this printer. Thanks for watching and happy printing. Thanks for watching, and that's all for now. I hope to see you guys in the next video. Till next time.